What's up, fight fans? It is the homie, main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in Main Man Made Man's boxing form? And don't forget to rock out with us every Sunday and Thursday for We Talking Boxing, where we have the phone lines open and getting feedback from the boxing fans. Hey, look, the thing is this, fight fans. So last night, it went down in Japan. Inouye, the monster Inoue, defeats Nonito Denier in their rematch fight. And the monster Inoue lived up to his name, and the utter destruction of Nonito Denier. Now, we all know, fight fans, this is a run back from their 2019 fight, which was dubbed as the fight of the year. It was an explosive fight where we saw Nonito Denier fight through adversity uh, and just give Monster Inoue perhaps one of his toughest fights of his career. This is also was impressive due to the age of Nonito Denier, who at the time was over 40 years old. In this particular fight, he approached this fight at 43 years old, fight fans. And he attempted to get back in there with the young monster who is a pound for pound fighter on most boxing fans pound for pound list. And he is something to reckon with. He is a three division champion. He is currently unified. And he's hoping to make his move and going for totally undisputed at 118 pounds. Monster NUA now holds three world titles of the four world titles at 118 pounds, winning the WBC championship off Nonito Donier. There's only one belt remaining at 118 to make Monster Inoue a total undisputed champion, and that is the belt that sits with Paul Butler and which he has the WBO. I tell you, man, first off, we had two knockdowns in this fight. The first knockdown occurred towards the end of round one, where Monster Inoue was coming forward and connected on the overhand right that landed on Nonito Denier and put him down. It was clear from that first round fight, fans, though Nonito Denier landed a pretty good left hook, according to the monster Inoue, that left hook woke him up. And it seems to me, as that round progressed, monster Inoue clearly was the bigger puncher. And you do gotta wonder for Nonito Denier at his age, not to mention fight fans, Nonito Denier has came down in weight over the last uh, few couple years. You got to wonder how uh, all of this works for his punch resistance. And well, clearly, the younger, stronger monster Inoue proved to be the bigger puncher. And Nonito Denier just could not deal with the punching power of monster Inoue. Nonito tried. It started off as an interesting chess match. One shot here, one shot there. But the difference was the amount of pepper that the monster had on his shots was much different than uh, Nonito Denier. And so the monster Inoue, he wins this man. He stopped and then, oh, I'm sorry, go to the second round in which the monster Inoue steadily plotting, plotting forward. Nonito Denier trying to stay at a reactionary space, but he ends up getting pushed towards the corner. And then he eats a solid one-two and then preceded by a flurry of punches in the corner, as you can see right there. And uh, Nonito Denier basically meets the canvas and the ref waves it, waves it off. Now, Monster Inoue says he wants to become undisputed. Like I said, that to me makes a lot of sense for the road that Monster Inoue is going. And according to Monster Inoue, once he becomes undisputed, if he becomes undisputed, he's looking to move up in weight once again to his fourth weight class, which would be 122 pounds. Now, that is something, fight fans, that I have been really, really waiting for. Why? Because to me, once Monster moves up to 122, hey, the names become much more recognizable to the American audience. And that's just calling it for what it is. We got some very, very dynamic fighters up at 122 pounds. I will keep my fingers crossed that some of those fights actually happen. You know, fights with Cool Boy Steph, fights with Rai Saleem, maybe AK. You know, Monster moves up and get into the mix with those dudes, you know. And I, I would love to see that, truth be told, you know. And I think that's, um, those are some very interesting fights. Not to mention, we still got guys like uh, Mark Maxeo hanging around. You still got guys like Casimero hanging around. And uh, you do got to wonder, will Nonito Denier move up to the proper weight classes and uh, get involved with these dudes too? We're just going to wait and see, you know what I'm saying? But I got to say, fight fans, Nonito, I mean, uh, Monster Inoue's performance last night 
definitely proves where he should sit on the pound for pound list in the top 10 wherever you got him ranked you know there's a lot of folks that got him in their top five and he has proven it with each and every performance when you have an aging veteran champion like nonito denier in there you get rid of that boy you know what i'm saying you get rid of that man i'm sorry you get rid of that dude you know what i mean and that's exactly what the monster done to continue to spread his brand and pedigree but very interesting situation here uh as far as nonito denier going forward i just think it's time man i, I mean there will be no more uh, riot rallies that i can see nonito denier doing at this point we know Nonito Denier gave himself a second win in his career by making it through the World Boxing Super Series. Um, I wasn't overly, overly impressed with it due to the fact that he was going down in weight. Uh, when he went up in weight, where I thought that he was in the proper weight class with guys uh, around his weight, he says it was too much. The punching power just did not travel with Nonito Denier to higher weight, so he decided to go back down. But, I mean, maybe that's just me being a little too hard on him or whatever, but... Uh, to me, it's always been impressive when fighters move up and accomplish things as opposed to moving down and shrinking themselves down and can be perceived as weight bullies and stuff like that. But as you can see in your later age, sometimes it's not always the best decision. One more thing, fight fans. There was a line, uh, a narrative going into this fight that, you know, both fighters were wearing punchers gloves we know that monster anyway was wearing the clayto reyes gloves which we all know give you that special punching power due to their horsehair abilities fight fans and we also know that nonito denier wore everlast mx gloves which are also punchers gloves um and these boys was looking to get in there and put on a knockout this fight was not going to make it to the judges cards not with the gloves that these two fighters were wearing now y'all already know my position I have a problem with those gloves. I believe they give you false power. And not to mention, I do not believe that they are safe and they can be manipulated. But, you know, this is boxing. Boxing want knockouts, knockout sale ratings. And so no one is going to really take a position on that fight, fans. So it is what it is, you know what I mean? But congratulations to Monster NUA once again, getting the job done. Devastating fashion, dominant fashion, continuing to prove why he belongs on the pound for pound list. Thumbs up on the way out. If you did not hit it on the way in, share, 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 and rock those bells. Catch up with y'all in the next live stream, fam. Until the next video, man. Please, AL.